Hey guys, Richard Constable from richcguitar.com. Today I'm going to be giving you five more picking exercises to have a go at. So the first one is called the spider. It's very commonly known, but let's just see if you know it. So we start with the first fret, first finger, and we go chromatically across four notes, the first four notes. And then we do that on every string. So let's move up to the next string. So first finger, second finger, third and fourth on the first four frets. And then move to the fourth string. And change strings again, third. And then finally get to the first string. So very simple, but it's just a really good exercise to do to really help with your dexterity with your fingers and your picking hand as well. So part two is going back down the spider. So we start on the fourth fret of the first string and go down to the third, second and first and then come all the way back up. So. trying to get an even timing and then speed it up over time. So the third picking exercise is going diagonal across all the strings. So again we want to be on the first, second, third and fourth frets with our first, second, third and fourth finger but we want to be across four strings. So we do first fret, sixth string, second fret, fifth string, third fret, fourth string and fourth fret third string. So we go in a diagonal line. And then we go to the next set. So that's the middle four strings and then we go to the bottom four strings. So once you've done that you move up a fret and you do exactly the same thing. So across four strings, diagonal, trying, trying to use each finger then move up. So part four is doing it descending. So start on the fourth fret of the first string, third fret of the second, second fret of the third, and first of the fourth. And then change the set of strings to so the middle four strings and then the final four strings and then move it up again. So start really slowly, make sure you're getting it accurate before trying to speed it up. Go all the way to the 12th fret. So the 5th is a real finger twister. So you go 1st fret on the 6th, 2nd fret on the 5th, 3rd on the 6th, and then 4th on the 5th. You're basically going in a zigzag across the strings. First fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, but across two strings. And then you move up to the next set. And then the next. So we're on the fourth and the third. Third and the second. And second and the first strings. And you can do that coming backwards as well. Really tricky, but if you start slow, you can start to speed it up. And try to get as fast as you can. And then go all the way up to the top. So it helps you explore different areas of the neck as you do your picking exercises, so you get used to playing higher up the fretboard. A lot of the guitar books, they stay in this little section. You learn a lot of chords and note reading down here, but it doesn't always open up the whole place. But doing these picking exercises will help you do that. You'll start playing in areas which you're not used to, and you can start playing your chords in different places as well. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye.